Hello again, Virgo. So before we begin your reading, I've got two cards for you. <laughs> and one just keeps popping up for Virgo. So from Lay Vampire, you pulled Faith, Trust, Unwavering, and Confidence. And then again, from Chakra Wisdom, you pulled Perseverance. So now, because you guys are consistently pulling the same cards week to week, I'm going to read actually working with these cards from the books for you so that you can get a really clear understanding of the message that's being sent to you. So now from Lay Vampire Faith and working with this card, it says, If you have lost faith in a person, project, or humanity itself, it is time to examine the source of the faith. Know that it can be revived. And this time you may choose where you place this most beautiful and tender of faiths. This is about having your faith return to you. Now, when it comes to perseverance, the inspiration behind this card. When we do our chosen work, we are serving the highest order. If we stop, we upset the universal balance. What you work toward will materialize. You may not see it, but it lies ahead. So once again, it's like there's this feeling of losing faith in the fact that you're not seeing what you truly want manifest in your life. But faith coming to you from Le Vampire is saying that that faith will be restored. Don't upset that balance. Continue to go after the things that you want because they will manifest in your life. All right, here we go. Very nice. Very nice. Whew. <laughs> Strength being your signifier is saying that you will have the strength to deal with whatever is going on in your life right now. And if you feel like you're juggling too much, you have the strength to deal with it. I love seeing this card for Virgo and seeing it as the signifier is beautiful. And in the past, the King of Wands. So now the King of Wands, this is looked at as a fire sign. He's looked at specifically as Sagittarius, but because we're doing a general reading here, this could be any fire sign. Now the King of Wands, very passionate, very driven, very wise, constantly seeking new adventures and people follow him. I wonder if you guys are juggling a relationship. But regardless, with strength sitting there, you have the strength to deal with whatever is going on. And then looking at the King of Wands as advice, this is about being passionate and driven, but being wise about what it is that you're going after. Oh, wow. In the present, the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is like needing to take a break. And this is telling you literally to put up your swords and meditate and reflect on your actions. And then looking at that with the Six of Cups falling out, you know, this could be you taking a minute to look at the past and what's in the past is the King of Wands. There's this feeling here, just with what fell out and what you have in the Oracle cards that, you know, maybe you're wanting to have your faith restored in a relationship. But, you know, again, with the Four of Swords, this is like no action. Where the King is passionate and driven, this is no. We're taking a minute to really think about our lives right now before we do anything. Oh, wow. Future conditions, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like for some of you, if you're taking a minute to look at the past and you talk about people from the past coming through, that Wheel of Fortune may be suggesting second chances. So the Wheel of Fortune, this is like the half. It's not the complete end of the journey. That's the world. This is the half. This is where you have a second chance. So all the bad is going down, the good is coming up, Anubis is suggesting rebirth. 
And this is about fate being on your side. You know, and that's perfect to see with these two for sure. Having that faith restored to you. And then perseverance. Keep working toward what you want. Don't give up. That wheel is saying that fate is on your side. And there is a second chance going on here. And I have to wonder if it doesn't have to do with this person here. But no matter what is going on with strength, you'll be able to deal with whatever situation comes along. Your best path to follow. My goodness, Virgo. So the Eight of Cups, just talking about this one. The Eight of Cups. This is about moving on emotionally before we do physically. This is where you have something started, but it's no longer fulfilling you. And this is saying that it's time to walk away now. Now, when you look at just what's unfolded here, With the Six of Cups falling out and that Four, there's definitely a pause right now and you're looking at the past. And in the past is that King of Wands. Now the Wheel of Fortune could suggest that you are ending that cycle and getting ready to start anew because your best path to follow is saying that you need to walk away from what's dragging you down. And if it's thoughts of a person from the past... It's time to walk away from that now. Now, when you look at it the other way, when you're thinking about wanting a second chance with somebody from the past, the Eight of Cups could suggest needing to walk away from whatever painful memories you may have or emotions regarding that relationship. But... Regardless here with the Eight of Cups, you need to leave the situation. It's time to start seeking your own truth. This is no longer fulfilling you. And something much better is coming your way. For sure, for sure. I mean, no doubt, but you don't want to continue to keep working with something that's making you feel dragged down. And here it's saying it's time to walk away now. Oh, very nice. Very nice. The magician. One in ten. You definitely have a chance to start something new in your life. The magician. Everything that we create in our lives starts with a thought. And that is what the magician represents. He is pulling from the divine source. He's bringing that information down. He's got all the suits on his work table. And he's wanting to create something new. So in this being in your environment is saying that, you know, again, what you're working toward is big. It's This is no small fry here. And, you know, you don't want to give up on it. You know, again, before manifestation happens, we start with the thought. And there it is. You may not see it right now, but if you continue to work towards what you're trying to create here, it will manifest in your life. And again, you have super strength going on. Your hopes and your fears... Now, you know, seeing what's unfolding here. I think for some of you, if you're thinking about wanting to have a second chance with somebody, your fear is saying that you don't want to have those feelings of regret. You don't want to have those painful feelings. The Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is the effect. The cause is the Three of Swords. These two are connected. I say this every time one or the other shows up. In the Nine of Swords, this is about mental anguish and pain and regret. 
and sleepless nights and just yuck. This is all the mental shit that we do to ourselves. And it's in your fears right now. You don't want to see that. And when you look at it this way, here you are, you're like, I'm strong. I can do this. And here you are with this amazing thought that may have to do with this person here, but you're fearing the negative. And again, that eight of cups is saying we need to walk away from what's no longer fulfilling us. Oh, the outcome. Look at that. The fool. So the fool, this is the clean soul. This is a newly reincarnated soul. This is all about taking that leap of faith. He is taking that leap of faith into life with no preconceived notions of nothing. He is just going with the flow. And you have all these beginnings going on. Here's an ending, here's a beginning, here is the beginning. And you have strength in the middle. But looking at that King of Wands and seeing the Six of Cups fall out the way that it did. I think some of you are focused on somebody from the past. And there's the King of Wands sitting in the past position. The Two of Pentacles feeling like you're juggling too much needing to find some balance in your life. And that four of swords is like you're stopping to take a moment to think about things. And then the wheel, the wheel, fate being on your side and looking at it this way, this is beautiful. I feel like no matter what it is that you decide to do regarding this person here, Either way, it's like you have spirit guiding you. I mean, the way that these are lining up here, you know, but again, the Eight of Cups. If you're wanting to have a second chance with somebody, or if you're wanting to correct issues that you're having in a relationship now, you cannot hang on to the emotional junk because here's the backing. Here's the mental shit, and then here's the emotional. Now, the advice with the Eight of Cups is you need to leave it behind. Now it's time to leave it behind. And have that faith restored to you. Whatever it is that you're working toward will manifest. And I feel like you're getting your thoughts in the right spot. It's just that there's this fear of seeing negative and not wanting to go through that again. And the Eight of Cups is saying, no, we're not going to do that anymore. And no matter what happens with strength, you're going to be able to deal with anything that comes in your path. I love seeing that for Virgo, and I love seeing the Fool being the outcome. And with the Wheel of Fortune, when you take that leap of faith, you have fate on your side. Okay, Virgo, there are two ways to look at this King of Wands. This being in the past position and you dropping out with the Six of Cups could suggest that this may be somebody from the past or that you're reviewing your relationship and the way that it was in the past. Now, this could also suggest you looking at how you may have felt in the past passionate and driven and with these falling out and again with perseverance it's like yeah you will have that faith restored to you that is why this card is coming to you perseverance is telling you not to give up you may not be seeing the things that you want in your life right now but if you stop working toward it it won't manifest but here with the magician being in your environment, you know, remember everything that we create in our lives starts with that thought, right? And here you have the fool. You have zero and one. It's so beautiful to see. To me, this is saying that when you take that leap of faith, you're going to have the strength 
to deal with whatever comes up in your path. And again, fate is on your side. I like seeing this one for you here because the way that it lines up is telling me that you will get to the point where you have that faith restored and you will start to see the things that you want manifest for you, but you have to keep working toward it. Now, when you're looking at it as far as a person, there's like this pause where you're looking at that relationship and what may have gone on in the past that's causing fear with these hurt feelings here and this mental anguish and just yuck, yuck, I hate this card. But the Eight of Cups is telling you that you need to walk away from the things that are dragging you down. And if these are the things that are dragging you down, yes, it is time to walk away from painful, regretful thoughts. Don't do this to yourself anymore. Don't do it. And again, with the Eight of Cups, we need to move on emotionally before we do physically. So emotionally, you have to be okay with saying, that's okay. This wasn't fulfilling me. Now I'm going to walk away and I'm going to go on a different path. If it has to do with a person, if you are in a relationship, it is time to let go of any hurtful feelings that may be there so that there can be this second chance. Now, if this is somebody from the past coming through, there is definitely a second chance involved, but with the Eight of Cups, again, you need to walk away from whatever painful memories were in the past. They have to be done with so that you can continue on this path that you have going here. These are no joke. I mean, you pulled some really heavy hitters here and you have all these opportunities for new beginnings. But remember, don't give up. Don't give up on the things that you want. Even though that you may not see them manifesting right now, as long as you keep working toward them, you will see it manifest in your life. And remember, you will have that faith restored to you.